Some guy in her name. Are you South African? Are you there? Are you South African? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm here. This is me. I'm here. Okay. Hi. That's reassuring. Yeah, that is him. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, right, we knew fun. it was you. We were talking about you before you came in. As long as you're here, we're good. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You were talking about me before I came in. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, so long as it's you. It's okay. Right? Now, now we're talking about you behind your back right in front of you. <laughs> I see. Hmm. It's all Whoa. recorded, so we can back everything up. We're just making sure it was you, that's all. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I understand the misconception. No, it's, it's actually me, guys. What's up? It's okay, me. Gotcha. all right. <laughs> wait, wait, is it really you? I'm trying to make sure. Is it really um, you? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's me, it's me. I just checked. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's man. Me. Okay, cool. okay. Yeah. great, great. You, you just checked, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I mean... Do you math? Do you math? Do you math? Uh no, I science, I science, I science. Oh, you science! Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> get him! You Why, might they think somebody's Huckleberry. Yeah, they think Let's science is points. math, though, right? Let's do the three points. Come on. No, please. at least he knew the difference between science and math. That's a okay, plus okay. one for no, him. That's good. Plus one. But I'm just saying, let's do the three points, please. Come on. I think we did already. Like with him. Yeah, like I a couple of days ago. Did. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't did. have the three points tag. Well, there wasn't a moderator on at the time. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Well, can we briefly go over him, just briefly? Just so that, you know. Not if you already went tag. over it. Um, science, sure, I'm he kidding. sciences, man. He just doesn't have the tag. QE's throwing bows right now, so he, he wants to get in, in on this. No, I'm not I'm not <laughs> overly excited about it. I mean, he's, he's Mr. Sa Are you a scientist? Um, No, I'm not a scientist. But you I'm like science, right? That's fine. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You like science, right? This can be so, good. can you conduct natural science without experiment? No, I wouldn't say so. That's a good. That's a good damn answer. That's plus. He's getting a lot of plus ones, man. Yeah, this guy's pretty solid. Baller, and Q -E, Q -E, Q -E, here in Q -E. year. He he actually took his time to answer that question too. That that was that was very odd. He did. It was measured. I'm fucking starting to get scared now. All right. <laughs> so, astronomy, cosmology, and astrophysics claim that they're science, and you said, "Well, you can't have science without experiment." So, can astronomy, cosmology, or astrophysics do experiments? <laughs> I think that uh, I think that they can only observe, but it's obviously holy um, shit. Oh, oh shit. I, I'm gonna say, man, I'm gonna say, oh my god! That, that when he when he first started like kind of giggling, it, it was like, wow, this is a first. Yeah, uh, I mean that was brilliant, brilliant. Keep going. So, so by definition, if they can't conduct an experiment. Then they're not natural sciences. Sure. I mean, ah. I, I, okay, okay, I've been in the server for a while and I've listened to you guys speak and I've, I've, I've gotten a lot of insight as to how you see things. And uh, I agree with, I agree with uh, many of the things. I, I'm just too ignorant to just say I'm a flat earther yet. I need to that's learn fine. more. No, that's yeah. fine. I mean, wow. your science acumen. You need to go do an experiment. Or wow. your science or acumen is about ten levels above any baller I ever ran into. Insane. I'll yeah, let you go, uh, man. You you you're all right. Wow, yeah. Huey said I'll let you go, dude. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him go because he answered those questions. He was measured. He thought about it, and he made the right choices. So, I mean, what what do you want me to do? Impale the guy? No, I'm giving him the three point participation right now. Boom. Okay. Yeah, he's good to go, man. He's got some. He's got at least he can critically think. I mean, that's that's plus three. What else? Get you in the door. But he's almost. He's on. So you're you're on the fence more or less of whether the Earth's a sphere or whether it's flat. Right. I'm leaning more to the. Um, I'm leaning more to the flat side of things. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think well, maybe, we, maybe maybe we can kick you off that fence. You, when you talked with me and Jen, like your big hang up was you're not sure why everyone would lie, right? Like yeah, the, that's the lie's no, too big. No, 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 no. I never said that. I, I like I said, we spoke about this before, and I, I mentioned the incentive uh, that that yeah. is. I mean. There's like, a lot of incentive as to why they would buy. I, I never, no, I never said that. Okay, I, I think I misunderstood what you were saying, getting that. Uh, okay, mm. what's, the, what's the, is there any hang-ups? Is there any questions that, you know, you may want to ask that, that says, well, there could be a, a problem here. Is there anything that stands out? Okay, well, um, I think what I'm, what I'm skeptical about, and, and, and this is this 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 should not be a trust thing. I understand it should not completely be a trust thing, but um, I'm skeptical about the method you guys use when you speak to someone that has uh, cognitive dissonance, and um, when speaking to these individuals, I feel like okay, I feel like the way you tackle things is harsh. I wouldn't say harsh, but it's by your method. Okay, so so uh, an example about this uh, can be, for example, there was this one time I was in the VC, and Miggy was talking to this guy, and uh, this guy, what's his name, Danny? He Danny. He said he was a uh, um, astrologer. He was that was a just yesterday. That was yeah. He was a PhD in astronomy. Yes, we yeah. know him well. Sure. Okay. So um, he wanted to that what Danny wanted to do was agree to disagree on the scientific method so that the conversation could move forward. And um, yeah, that's a non-starter. Hmm. That's a non-starter because the scientific method isn't agree disagree. It is what it is. It's not yeah. subjective. It, it's not subjective. It's, it's objective. Agree disagree is subjective. The scientific method is what the scientific method is. He made a couple of, how would I say, train wreck implosions that I won't bring up here because I'm waiting for him to come back. But what, what's your what's your problem with that? So that's not the only that's not the only instance. Um, no, no, no. I want to go in, into the instance because you you have somewhat of a science acumen. Obviously, you answered the questions correctly. Okay, so so the problem the problem with that is um i understand that uh i understand that that there was a, a disagreement between the scientific method but i didn't fully understand like i understand where miggy came from as into saying that um you can't just observe something conduct an experiment and because your experiment seems to align with your observation say that that is what is no that's incorrect right. he never that's, he never talked no, hold on yeah. he never talked about an experiment he just said observation in fact he said no he didn't he actually speak through, about an experiment hold on a second hold on mm -hmm. wait a second. okay good i listened to it he mm -hmm. said specifically that you didn't have to have an experiment. You can just use inference, right? And then he said, just induction, as a matter of fact. Didn't he say via or through induction? Yes, only induction. You know he what? You know what the problem is with mm -hmm. that, sir? Scientific method doesn't use induction at all. Zero. It uses abduction and deduction. So he's a pretender clown. Dunning Kruger, fuck with. How about that? See, the, the other See, problem you got, right, with somebody like that is, is that he's got a PhD in something that you, like, going through what you went through with Quantum Eraser, just realize is not science, right? So he's going to try to convolute the scientific method so that what he stands for is actually science. Yeah, he didn't use not. any scientific method. Are you familiar with Karl Popper, sir? No. Karl Popper is one of the most famous philosophers of science and is quite popular with the bald tarred ball idiots, right? Are you in live stream voice text? I'm in live stream voice text. Yeah. Remember what Danny said, that science exclusively uses induction. Read those two citations for me, please. 
in the philosophy of science, falsifiability or refutability is the capacity for it. statement theory. Oh, excuse me. Uh, is that what I'm supposed to be reading? 19 minutes 19 after minutes the minutes. hour under quantum eraser. Start higher. Uh, um, as mentioned, as mentioned in the section, the problem of induction, Popper's, science, uh, Popper's response to the problem of induction is simply that induction is actually never used in science. Oh, whoop, whoop, see. Popper call 1963 conjectures and refutations, the growth of science, uh, knowledge, 2002 AD, da, 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 da. call Popper philosopher of science, so to solve the problem of induction. He argued that science does not use induction, and induction is in fact a myth. Ooh, uh, that's gonna leave a mark. Well, I don't know much about Karl Popper yet, so... Karl I'm, I'm Popper to... is the philosopher, phil philosophy <laughs> god of science. According to whom? According to me. <laughs> I see. Karl Popper, it, it speaks volumes that you don't know who this gentleman is. I don't. I yeah. don't know who Karl Popper is. Yeah. Let me tell you, all the ballers do, and they fallaciously talk about Karl Popper. They don't know what he says. They don't know what he's written. They don't know anything. And I just well, is, there, is there a possibility that his words right, could easily be let construed? Me, let me come out of the citations. What is mm. induction? Induction means I don't know. I actually don't know what induction is. And, yeah, that's a problem. So induction means probability or likelihood, right? Hypotheses deal with cause and effect relationships. They have null hypotheses with them. It doesn't deal with any probability whatso friggin' ever. It's either a one or zero, black or white, yes or no. See it now? So I'm coming out of the citations and then putting into use its practicality. So do you know what a hypothesis is, sir? Yes, I know what an hypothesis is. Define a hypothesis for me. A hypothesis, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to define it correctly, but I understand the rough meaning. An hypothesis is a, um, how should I say, a result of an investigation that is yet to be proven. Isn't that, isn't that what it kind of is? No. Like, uh, for example, like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can define it properly. Hmm. Okay, how about this? Maybe I can't put it into words, but maybe I can give you an example of an, a, a hypothesis, okay? So the experiment is to see if water will uh, fall out of the glass as soon as I overflow it. So an hypothesis would be when I throw, it's, it's a 100 ml glass. So an, an example of an hypothesis would be when I throw 130 moles of water in the glass, 30 milliliters of water would overflow and spill out of the glass. No, no, that's that not a hypothesis? hypothesis. No. Oh, okay. Well, then so tell me. Let's go over what a hypothesis. I asked you not for an example, but what it actually is. So at 22 minutes after the hour, let's just set the stage. California, California Institute of Technology physicist Sean Carroll, this is from nature.com, by the way. Nature, California Institute of Technology physicist Sean Carroll arguing in the edge that hypotheses aren't simply useful tools in some potentially outmoded vision of science. They are the whole point. So, what is it? Become a successful scientist from Cambridge University Press. A scientific hypothesis is based on cause and effect reasoning. A scientific hypothesis does not merely state X and Y may be related, but explains why they are related. From Drexel University, the scientific method is hypothesis-driven. One makes an educated guess to explain a cause and effect relationship. From Anne-Marine Helmstein, PhD, Biomedical Sciences, a hypothesis is an educated guess based on observation. It's a prediction of cause and effect. Do you see any probability or likelihood in those? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go into that, how is what I said not an hypothesis? If they because you didn't say what I just said. Excuse me? What are you talking you about? Did. 
Excuse no, me. No, because you didn't say what I did. You just said. Don't over talk me. No, Do no, not no. over talk me. Okay, okay, cool. But you're over talking me right now. So fuck off, so, gentlemen. Get the fuck come on, out of you're here. You're doing so good. Yeah, he's What's starting to scam a spiral because I'm about to jack his ass up, and he knows it. Uh oh, man, no. Well, I guess. Oh, we were having a good. Maybe he didn't articulate his example very well, and um, so maybe. Yeah, well, you see, your problem is, Mr. South African, is your your cause is man, right? The natural phenomena in natural science, the dependent variable, must be a natural phenomenon. See? Follow? I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm just saying that the example of an hypothesis that I gave you seems to be aligned with what this definition not, of an hypothesis is. I just explained is. it to you why it's well, not. Wouldn't an easy way to say it is that it's an educated guess of cause and effect? Yes, but that's a natural cause and effect. It doesn't have oh, anything yes. to do with man. We're talking about natural oh, yes. science here. Whoever caused that thing to, to leak out of the glass, it wasn't the glass and it definitely wasn't the water. It was man. So you're out of context. And I ask you what a hypothesis is, not an example of one. Okay, um, I agree that it was out of context, but it was still an example of an hypothesis it's outside not a scientific of natural science. Not. It's not. I'm telling you, it's not. Of I natural, just explained it to you. Of natural mm, phenomenon is the key. Right, QE? Yes, the natural phenomena observed the dependent variable must be natural. It can't be man-made. If I have a dependent variable, the effect, and it's a man-made phenomena, then what's the independent variable going to be every single time? The cause of the effect. If the effect's a man-made phenomena, what's the cause or independent variable of that phenomena every single time? Can you give me an example of an hypothesis? Man. So... It's not natural because we have a big problem here. Everything that, uh, that man affects is caused by him. So we don't need an experiment, and it's not natural because natural and synthetic man-made are fucking antithesis of each other. That's why. Can I give you an example of hypotheses? Mm -hmm. Natural phenomena observed the whole spiel? Sure, you, you give me an experiment and then give me your hypothesis to the experiment. No, that's backwards. I'd give you the hypothesis first yeah. and then the experiment okay. comes from the hypothesis, right? Sure. I wouldn't mind hearing an example. How about if I give you a bunch of them? Or do we want to just deal with one? One. One. Good. Just start. The best one. The best that there isn't. The best they're either viable scientific hypotheses or, or train wrecks. The best ball buster you got. The be no, there isn't any hypotheses for spherical Earth versus uh, flat Earth because those are what is questions. The scientific method only deals with how, why, cause, and effect questions. Hey, Quantum, when you're done with that, I want to know still what is... Uh... What his deal was with what I said against uh, Annie. With Oh, okay. Yeah, don't let What's me forget done? about that. All right, no. you want one hypothesis, the best one I got? Yes, you want? please. I'm going to put it in live stream, all right? Is that all right? Could, no, no could, you, could you come up with one off the top of your head is what I'm asking. Yeah, I just did. Give another okay, I just typed me. it up. Mm -hmm. Given otherwise healthy type 1 diabetes patients, the lack of insulin on board will lead to diabetic ketoacidosis. <laughs> there you go. Do you want any more? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm still uh, analyzing it. He's sciencing the shit out of it. I am sciencing the shit out of this. Want another one? There's another one. If the witch path information is known or can be known, then we observe wave function collapse, i.e. no interference. That is matter existing. Want another one? I'm still focusing on the first one, like I said. All right. 
We'll just put them in there. I'll give you four. If vitamin C intake is crucial to collagen integrity in humans, then eliminating vitamin C intake in humans will cause scurvy. I like that one. I'm feeling my oats now. I think the third one is the the best example as well. You want the third one? No, I think the third one is the best one in my opinion. What about this one? This this usually gets everyone up in arms because they're numpty dipshits. Heat will cause water to boil at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius at one atmosphere of pressure. How about that one? Yes, no, maybe. So which path, what is which path information? That's a quantum mechanics experiment. Path information is knowledge of the path information. If I got two paths, A and B path, if I know that it's on A path, then I know it. So if I know it, the wave function will collapse. So it's a yes or no question. There isn't any probability or likelihood getting, you know, circling back to the point of induction, which is a fucking train wreck. So induction is um, basically finding the most likely probability, yeah. But, yeah. but there's no, but there's no definitive answer. Yes, it's correlated, correlated correlative it's not causative so cause causation doesn't equal correlation it's, co it's a complete category error it's not even close so it's bullshit he's full of shit right he's trying to substitute induction logic for the scientific method which is empirical i do disagree with that say again i do disagree that I, I i would say that i do disagree that just because um we find within a certain experiment that something is more likely than another thing. We, we don't. Like, it's either a yes or no one or is there. We don't. You're wrong. It's either a one. I said this three times. No, I, didn't, one you, one. I didn't finish my statement. Shut you up. didn't let me finish uh, my statement. Uh, I said that the scientific method, there is no induction. It's based on abductive and deductive reasoning. Abductive takes care of the first three steps of the scientific method. That is, observe natural pheno phenomena, literature review, hypothesis construction. It's a supposition of cause and effect. Deductive reasoning takes the last part. Experiment. It's not an agree or disagree. I don't care what you agree or disagree with. I could give a shit less. Go to whose favorite color is the best or cake decorating forums. You're in the wrong forum. And don't fucking over talk me again. You understand well, then, then don't over talk me. Like, what do you mean? Okay, you're fucking done. Oh, Unless, man. Miggy, I've exposed him. So, Miggy, you want to go for it? Expose him? Yeah, real, yeah, real yeah. quick. Hey, so, numpty. anyways, what was the problem that you had with me? Um, now, I didn't now. understand. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I didn't understand. Um, I didn't understand his perspective, like Danny's perspective. Um, okay. And I feel like for someone for someone like me that doesn't know much, that doesn't have experience in these conversations, um, okay. let me, been... let me, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, let me put it into context for you, okay? Uh, okay. Now just listen up. I'm gonna play a clip. I think um, you know people that that first hear encounter flat earth. They all say, "Well, I once believed that it was a stupid idea, but I tried to refute it." Oh wait, I need to unmute the body. Well, that's because you, you didn't Google. go to the right source. I have all the internet. And you've heard these arguments from flat earthers. Maggie, you're gonna have to right. start it over yeah. again. Yeah, you're gonna have to start it over. Yeah. Did you unmute the bot? Yes, I did. All right, start over, Maggie. All right. I think. Um, 
you know, people that, that first hear, encounter Flat Earth, they all say, well, I once believed that it was a stupid idea, but I tried to refute it and I couldn't. <laughs> well, that's because you didn't go to the right sources. You went on the Internet and you heard these arguments from Flat Earthers that you couldn't answer. Yeah. Uh, that's because you didn't know the answers. I know the answers. I haven't <laughs> encountered an argument yet I couldn't refute. I haven't <laughs> encountered an argument yet I couldn't refute. That's him. That is him. Yep. I thought that might have helped. Need nothing more? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing new under the sun, man. There's not. These people, they've been hovering around Flat Earth, crap talking for years. I could have more context if you'd like. It's up to you. You need more context? I mean, I hear you guys talk about, like, these shields and things that know the truth, but yet they act as if they don't know what's going on. Exactly, and they placate to audience members like yourself, sir. And you guys are the ones that pick up on it like it's, you know, it's awesome. Like, these guys are like, why don't somebody give them a chance? Let them speak. And we hear this from the audience. We've been around the argument so long that we can spot these guys a mile away. We know exactly where they're going and why they're going there, right? They've made a living out of it. This guy sure has. Hey, so, Mickey, can you play, Mickey, can you play that one? The one at 35 minutes after the hour? I'm going to have to upload it. Uh, really? Yeah, you need yeah. to upload it. I'll just play the video myself. Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, go ahead. That'd be better. Go ahead. It's only two minutes and 19 seconds. I would have, that's more context, isn't it? It takes a special somebody to be in the doing the things we do here, man, in the server. Everybody here that puts up with these trolls on the daily. And not only that, but we have to fight two fronts. We fight those trolls and fight the people who think that we're not giving them a chance. At some point, people are going to have to see through their bullshit, man, that they come in here. This is a war for the mind. And this is the battlefield right now, right here. Not only that, but this is the front line. We're the largest flat earth discord server. And we have people coming in day in, day out. Trolls, shills, pretender clowns, numpties. Everybody. And sometimes in between all of that, we have to sift out the good ones. And we got no time for people to be messing around, playing games, lying about stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the video. Good for you. He's a saucy A. Okay. So for people like me, that Danny could possibly have an influence over. Don't you think the best method is to just um, destroy them in their own method? Like, like you know, like play him, play him at his own game instead of like forcing him to play your game. No, he wants to take you somewhere with his argument, so we're not going to do that. He's going to answer the damn question, provide evidence, or he's not going to have an argument. We're not going to give him what he wants. He's going to give us what we want. And we want evidence, sir. Do you understand that point? We don't got time to play games. He's going to give the evidence for the positive claim that the earth is a globe. We demand it. It is something that they have told us time and time again. 
that we don't do science. Oh, and guess what? Now that we're doing science, science doesn't explain anything, they say now. They changed their story. Why do you think that is? Because they can't use science to back up their claims any longer. They got to reach into the philosophical and go somewhere that, you know, takes people on a journey of the mind, right? Get all hypothetical and whatnot. Comic bookish. Like Don Bones or Clocks. Or the second law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the earth. Brother, right. yeah, you ain't heard the depth of the numptiness that these guys have. Okay, maybe you just heard a little bit with that uh, show with Danny, but you ain't heard nothing yet. Not the stuff that we've heard. So, yeah, we've dealt with it. And they're going to give us the answers we want because this is the evidence they should be providing if they think the Earth is a globe. Simple as that. Very straightforward and direct. We're not playing games. Is that clear? Hope I, I was clear. All right. I, I understand. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking about it from the perspective of someone that uh, that believes. Yeah, you're thinking about it backwards. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Didn't, sure, he, sure. didn't he get? Didn't he get hung up on the first point? Um, which which is, Earth. Yes. and if so, you know, I I didn't come to the flat Earth community. But someone told me what I should be looking for. like the moment. I thought that the globe was in question. The first question that came to mind was, wait a minute, so how have they measured it to determine that it is the globe that they claim we live on, right? I mean, that, that, that answer should be out there somewhere. Oh, by the way, sorry, by the way, do you know, Mr. South African, um, South African, did you know that whether the Earth is flat or a sphere isn't available for scientific inquiry. Did you know that? No. The scientific method only adjudicates cause and effect how, why questions, not what is questions. It has nothing to do with it. So is the Earth flat or a sphere, a how, why, cause and effect question, or a what is question? That's a what is question. You got it. It has nothing to do with science. I've been coming out here. I've been here for five freaking years. The first thing I've heard, and literally thousands of times after that, is that I must deny, being a flat earther, I must deny all of science and all of physics. How many people in here have heard that? My heart. Right? Fat a, a nickel. Yeah. So, we're calling their bluff all fucking in. Give us your scientific evidence. It's not, it's out of context, non sequitur, category error. They're fucking numpty dipshits, right? We're going to drag them around by their short hairs. Then I'm going to eviscerate them. And then I'm going to have my wolf pups take over. Follow? You just felt some of the brunt of that. Not even one one hundredth of it. Are we clear? Are we clear? I'm still hold on. I, I'm, I'm I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm still held, held up on like the the point of this is this is how I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure you guys you guys may have the best uh, the the better method of going about things. But when it comes to converting people to look for more information, is there? I feel like the way you see things is that there's some people that are just not worth spending time on and there's other people worth investing into. So if that is how you see things, then maybe I could agree with you. But I feel like if you want to convert more people to look further into it, then let's beat them at their game. Don't, don't I think you think? You're no. missing it. I no, think you're, you're missing, missing it, sir. Big time. You see, my job isn't to convert people. This isn't a religion. My job is to expose the liars and the pretender clowns and let the cards fall where they may. Follow? I see. I see. That's, That's what it. I do. It's up to the okay. individual to take the, take the responsibility after that to go discover it and research it for themselves. I don't convert anyone. I see. And, it, and so if, they're, the if, they're, if they're a deceiver, then they're right under the barrel. 
They're going to feel the wrath. I mean, if they are the deceiver. So the goal is not to get more people onto the, the on. So the goal is not to get more people to think about flat Earth, but rather to um, eviscerate the lies. I see. Yeah, okay. and eviscerate that will the lies. That will then in turn bring those people the that see the lies follow. You see the cause and effect relationship here, right? Once they that see that sense, they're being lied to, then they're going to go. Then they're going to say, "Oh man." Let me go find out what is really true for myself, yep. right? That's what we want. We don't want people listening to us, right? Trying to convert them, as you say. No, we want them to go out and find the truth for themselves. Now, we give them some tools for that because we expose the lies. You know, that's not in a vacuum. Pardon the pun, right? We give them the tools to go do that. Right with gas pressure without a container, black swan. They don't feel any rotation or angular movement. Right, that's how we go about doing that. But we're here to expose. You see, when I first came out here for the first two years, I was called names that would make a billy goat fucking puke, and I was trying to keep my cool for about two and a half years. That ended. I just ended it. I got sick of it. Right. Now I'm going after their bowels. Got me? Thanks. Uh, Have a nice all day. We do, all we do is talk about science. If that doesn't how work. Pseudoscience is uh, miscategorized as science. It's just reasoning. That's pretty much what we talk about in a nutshell. What, what is it that the Globe Earthers talk about? Let's ask him. Let's get to they the, talk let's, about us. Let's let's get to yeah. the to the grid. Yep. Right? Are you South African? How do you have gas pressure without a container? I was going to ask that eventually. What do you what what do you guys mean? I like I understand the idea that um you need you need a container to have pressure and the container has to be airtight, otherwise you, you won't be able to measure that pressure correctly. I understand that. But what is that? What does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Well, that like, means that they're, yeah, I'm going to tell yeah. you, that means that their fairy tale story about being an open system with a 3.58 times 10 to the 80th cubic volume in meters is a fairy tale of epic proportions. That means everything in their fairy tale vacuum of space, everything implodes on itself because it's the second law of thermodynamics violation. Follow? So you're saying we don't have gas pressure? No, I'm saying we do have gas pressure. And being that we do have gas pressure, we must have a container. But in their fairy tale story, there is no container. Follow? So, 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 so There's not even resistance saying? in their fairy tale. There's not even resistance. What the fuck? So they're saying there's no gas pressure. Because what I was thinking was that they might oh. they may they might say that there's gas pressure because of the layers of the atmosphere, I guess. Atmosphere, um, that's gas. So how can gas pressure contain gas pressure? No sure. Then I would probably say they say gravity causes gas Gravity, pressure, which really uh, gravity, uh, even if I gave you so we'll keep the mm -hmm. conversation short and concise. Even if I gave you the universal law of gravitation, Newtonian mechanics, I gave you all the forces times a billion. And then I gave you on top of that, in inclusion with, I gave you all of general relativity, Einstein's bendy space time. I gave you a billion times of that on top of the billion times of force that was superseded 106 years ago. If I gave you all of that, it won't affect entropy of gases one iota. How about that? Because if you say gravity affects gas pressure, how the fuck does it rain? You feeling me? Yeah, no, that's not that's so not Katie, what I'm saying. I'm how just is there thinking... um uh, mm -hmm. how is there the gradient? I'm not saying that it's gravity, of course. Don't I'm worry not... about the gradient. Somebody shut him up. I'm dealing with South African here. 
get to you. How <laughs> can you explain if you say gravity? How does it fucking rain then? Can you tell me that? First of all, I didn't say I didn't say from my perspective. Like I said in the beginning of my statement, I was thinking they would say something like gravity could be the containment of gas pressure. We need to keep keep that in mind. I was thinking I'm thinking from their perspective. Okay, that's and, fine. Um, yeah, sure. So I first of all, I didn't even understand what the whole gas pressure and containment thing meant. Like, sure, if I understand that pressure has to exist in a closed environment. I, I, I understand that. So, sure. like, you know, you're acting as if you're acting as if I'm speaking from a defensive point. But I'm just saying that I was thinking about what they would say. Right. Not, and they do I, say I that. About did I explain it? They do say that. So did I explain it appropriately? Accurately? So what do you mean by um, how does it rain if, if, if there's gravity? Yes. Sure. So if they say gravity gases, well, water vapor is a gas. So water evaporates, it rises, it goes up. Then it cools and condenses, then it rains. I'm concerned about the first part, where the water evaporates to get to the rain. You see, it goes what direction? Up. I see where you're getting at. Follow? Thank you. So what if, like I said again, from their perspective, um, yeah, one second. Object... Well, I have, yeah, one second, man. I I do have to say, though, mm -hmm. why are you arguing for somebody else who's not even here? I want you to actually stand on your own ten toes and talk about what and talk and talk about what you want to say, not what okay. somebody what else I'm would saying. say. What yes, I want to say, just just okay, you. Ahead. Okay, sure. What I want to say is, doesn't is there a possibility that an object needs to be of a certain size to get affected by gravity? No, gravity doesn't exist at all. Zero. There's no scientific evidence for gravity. Do we want to go through this? Sure, go, go. Let's go through it. No scientific evidence for gravity. I've, yes. So, I which gravity? Go, mm -hmm. Yeah, quickly, go ahead. How? What? What's the size in space, buddy? What's big or little in space? What is big or little in space? I don't no. even know the definition stop. of space. Hey, Maggie, stop him. This, that's All bullshit. Right, no, 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 what, one let's second. not go there. Yeah, let's bullshit. We're we're on gravity. So, which gravity are you speaking to? Elaborate. I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Well, I gave you I, I gave you a clue with Einstein and Newtonian. I gave you a clue just before, and I might I may have said it fast, but there's essentially two versions of gravity. I only know about Newton's version of gravity. Oh, you do. Einstein's. Okay, well, that's a problem because Einstein replaced, superseded, knocked Newton from the throne over 106 years ago. So okay, we're so dealing with general relativity. Follow? Mm -hmm. You need citation support for that? I'm going to take your word for it. But I, don't, I still don't understand what it is. I'll give it anyway. It so there you go. Newton's classical mechanics, the whole thing, including the universal law of gravitation, was superseded or replaced by Einstein in 1915. So we're on the general theory of relativity that was published November 25th, 1915, right? That claimed it was the curvature of space time that caused gravity. So. In 1915, of course, this is supposed to be science, right? So we're going to have to head to the scientific method. Got to love that, right? So if it was a viable scientific theory in 1915, then he would have to have experiment, experimental validation in his paper in 1915. So what I ask followers in general is... You don't have to recreate the wheel. All you have to do is go back to his 1915 paper, pull out the natural phenomena observed, the hypothesis, and the experiment with the control variables, 
and then validate it scientifically. Is that fair? Sure. Yep. Guess what? It's not there. Just trying to keep it concise, because if you go back there and look for it, none of that's there. So that's so where we're at. So there was no scientific experiment? Say again? So there was no scientific experiment? No. Can someone help me unban LaPizzle? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It, was there no scientific experiment, or was there no scientific experiment according to the standards of science? There was no scientific experiment, period. That is the standard of science. Do you know what a scientific theory is? That's no. I'm sorry, I should have started off with that. My mistake. Um... Yep, scientific theory. You got to look it up. That's all right. I don't have a problem. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I've made a habit of actually not looking things up. Um, that's a that's a problem. You got to define, you know, the things that you're looking for. So I'll go ahead and put it in uh, live stream voice text at. Fifty five minutes after the hour. Tell me when you're there. Yeah, my Discord's just a little bit laggy, so it's taking a while to come up, but welcome. Oh, that's fine. Just tell me when you're there. 55 minutes mm -hmm. after the hour. That's loading? No, this is another picture by... Cut that's fine. The just, shit. just let me know when you're there. Everyone's being quite disciplined here tonight, so you're, you're all right. Uh, scientific theory. Explain. The now slash why mechanisms process, germ theory, <clears throat> uh, a scientific theory summarizes a hypothesis or group of hypotheses, hypotheses that have been supported with repeated testing. The scientific theory consists of one or more hypotheses that have been supported um, with repeated testing. A scientific theory is an explanation of some aspect of the natural world that has been substan substantiated through repeated experiments or testing. Why are there so many definitions of the same thing? Yeah, that's, um, it's consistency, right? Because that's what oh, a scientific okay. theory is. I just wanted to be comprehensive and get it from oh. multiple sources. Is that fine? Sure. Yep, so they're saying the same thing. So... According to this, a scientific theory, which general theory of relativity claims to be, then it must have an experiment or experiments validating it as a scientific theory on or before November 25th, 1915, when his paper so you're was... Telling me gravity is not even a scientific theory? Nope. <laughs> what? There's no way. Yep. What? Yep. Welcome to the party, pal. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're just at the beginning right now. Just wait. Wait. That's it. That's the end of my argument. <laughs> I need to. Okay, you know what? I need to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to research this myself. I'm okay. sorry. I I've made a habit of not researching things, but like I need to see this for myself. There's no way. Yeah, yeah that's that what is. I want you. That's exactly the mission, right? <laughs> Remember, we just talked about that. Wait, wait. I stepped out of the room for a moment. Did we have a breakthrough? Uh, yeah. That's awesome. So happy. So your confidence in me is restored? Okay, look. I, 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 there was never a problem with my confidence in you. It's just that you have a problem with No, I was talking to her. Oh, okay, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> thoroughly Cross. enjoying I'm thoroughly enjoying this conversation. That's a method to his madness. Uh, and everybody's everybody's in here. I think sometimes people don't look past what they can't see. Like I'm sure that 
African was looking at the conversation between me and Danny and was thinking that I was being unfair to the guy. Didn't know the context in which we understood his position to be. Well, I like what you said a while back, Miggy, that you guys have been doing this for so long that not only can you, you know, you know what they're going to say, but you know where they're going to go with it as well. Cause you've heard all this so many times and it's so what I, also liked um i think it was kiwi that said you know everybody here is not here to convince anyone of anything right. you can't do that you can't convince anyone of any one thing they have to do it themselves yep that's what he's doing the light bulb just came on with him if you it was an amazing moment damn i should have took my phone with me. just rewind yeah rewind <laughs> just rewind Well, you guys should clip it because it's a it's definitely a success. Well, it has to bear fruit, but yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. There's another tiny little problem that it doesn't have experiment also. I'll post that in voice text. This is from Warwick University, UK. The problem is that the equations, that should tell you right away that it's not a scientific theory because scientific theories don't deal with mathematics. The problem is that the equations, Einstein's field equations, require that energy and momentum to be defined precisely at every space-time point, which contradicts the uncertainty principle for quantum states. This is not just a problem at high energies or short distances. It's a conceptual incompatibility that applies in every lab. Fucking over. He's finished. I could go in more in depth, but I don't think I need to. That does it right there. It's over. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stop. To hold them, knowing to fold them. <laughs> no, he's going back into that paper. That's what I want him to do. I want him to pull that experiment out of that paper on or before 1915, November 25th, as a matter of fact. And if, we, and if they want to play the game that Okay, it wasn't validated. Then it was validated four years later. I can play that game too. It's going to be the same damn question for Arthur Eddington. And you ain't going to find any experiment in there either. So it's all over. The DJ just got here. Did he? Well, you set him up. You, you gave him the playlist. The thing is over. Let him go. Let him be on his own here for a few minutes. I like the silence somewhat. You guys are disciplined, man. I have to what about the side, though? You. Even Miggy, he hasn't even left yet, has he? It's past his bedtime. Where is he still there? Look at him. Go, go to bed then, damn it. <laughs> <There's one. laughs> uh, we got fresh meat, according to Lulu. Hold on a second. We're not Lulu. finished with... Yeah, uh, we're not done with it? Okay. Up, I don't think we are. Down. South African. One we're second, not done though, yet, while he's we? answering. The, the reason I brought up size, though, is because the... Uh, they always say a size or some shit for gravity, and it's just it's just retarded when they try to say an apples pulling in the earth. You know, what I mean, all the bullshit they say. South African, are you still there? Um, yes, I'm here. Look, are you looking uh, through the paper? I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to find something. Um some experiments that were done to to prove like you know the the what, existence of gravity what about in his paper in 1915 where's the 1915 paper now again is it in voice text i didn't post his i'm sorry i don't have it 
Oh, okay. I was just trying to figure out what you were doing, but that's okay. Uh, we could, I think Miggy wants to move on to somebody else. Can you stick around? And then right after we're done, you could bring up anything you want to bring up. Um, yeah, look, guys, you're going to have to excuse me. I'm going to have to leave, but I'll join back in like 40 minutes or 50 minutes or something. Uh, okay. Something like that. That's fine, man. Yeah. Sure. I'll see Sorry. I was so hardcore, man. It's just in my being. Um, uh, it's it's okay. It's just a little frustrating when you speak over me and you expect me not to speak over you. But besides that, it's all Gucci. I'll see you guys later. All right. Uh, but yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I can I can take that criticism. Ain't gonna change shit. <laughs> <laughs> not really.